Hi there and welcome yet again to Gowns and Fumes, a session where I give tips to the wedding couple on how to do your uh, wedding video right. My name is Eric, video director at NZ Media and I hope you'll enjoy the session. Um, one of the reasons why most couples um, end up with a bad video is the fact that uh, they cannot be able to distinguish between a, a professional videographer and any other guy with a camcorder. I call them the uncodiocess of the industry. Um, the, the, the first step towards uh, getting your video done well, it's uh, the fact that you should be able to fish out the right guy from the start. In this uh, episode, I'll be giving you tips on what makes a professional guy stand out. And I believe this will go, the, I believe this will go a long way in helping you um, fish out this uh, guy to document your event in a good uh, film. The first thing uh, in the process is to get uh, references from guys who have uh, uh, had weddings before and uh, some wedding videos was made for them. The other alternative is uh, using the internet. You can Google on the video, uh, video guys who offer services around your area and you can check on what, uh, on what uh, they do. But uh, the most important thing in this stage is not the references. The most important thing is uh, to get uh, samples or demos of the work that these people have done. And it's, it's, it's just because uh, your auntie or maybe somebody shot your mom's wedding shouldn't uh, give you the, 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 the go ahead to trust the guy. You should uh, make sure you ask for the samples from these guys and see what they can do. Um, and one of the things that you check on the video samples is the quality of the video. How uh, stable are the shots? Um, just uh, do they look good uh, to watch? Is it, uh, are they acceptable to, to you? And uh, the other thing is uh, the quality of sound. Because most guys you find they don't, uh, they just use the, 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 the camera mic to, to pick the sound of which doesn't come out very well. But a guy who knows this game will come up with uh, uh, an extra mic to pick sound that will come out in a very clear way. Um, the other thing that you should check on these samples is uh, the whole uh, flow of how the story has been made. Like at NZ Media, we have this uh, um, culture and which is our difference in production where we don't, we don't just shoot. We, we After we get the footage, we come with it, and we on the editing bench we're able to come up with a nice story of the entire event. And that's something that most guys don't do. We just go come to your event, they cover it, the entire, the, the entire event, and just package the whole thing on a DVD, which, which, is, the, which is not uh, supposed to be the case. You are done avail By your life Albert's wedding or even wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I'm Mrs. Mweti. I'll make him the happiest man in the world. What God has joined together, no man must separate. The other thing that you should be able to um, find out from these uh, prospective uh, videographers is how they we, uh, how they go about uh, the production process. For example, which uh, make of cameras are they going to use? And you find that uh, most of the guys who know um, their job, they have uh, lots of options. Uh, uh, as compared to guys who just stick to the one type of camera that they are acquainted to. But you find that an expert will be able to give you uh, options uh, according to your budget and uh, you can be able to select the one that suits your, 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 your style and your preferences. The other thing is uh, about sound. Before you engage someone, you should be able, they should be able to explain to you how they are going to solve the sound uh, issue in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the production. Uh, what kind of microphones they are going to use. Most guys prefer the inbuilt microphone for the cameras, which is not a very good idea because you find that it picks all the sounds 
doesn't uh, separate your sound maybe during vows and the, the sound of the audience so you, you find that the sound won't be as uh, as good but a good uh, guy who knows how to pick quality sound he will be able to recommend even if you'll be able to maybe cough a little bit he may be, he should be able to let you know um the type of mic to use so that you can end up with good quality sound that you'll be able to listen uh, later after the whole thing is done Um, the other part which uh, I feel that uh, a prospective guy should be able to take you through is uh, the packages part. Uh, most of these uh, not so professional guys just come with a figure, just an amount that this is how much I charge for my service. But that's not the case. A professional uh, video guy should be able to come up with a list of packages and some options for you to choose according to, the, to, according to your budget. Like for example at NZ. We have uh, our list package that we call Wingu. It caters for those uh, couples to be who are. Uh, it caters for the wedding couple who are tight on budget. And on the other side, we have uh, the magnificent Isimua package that even includes the jeep. Um, 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 and I, I'm thinking, uh, if someone doesn't have these packages, it's not a good thing because it makes you fi uh, doesn't give you options. It it puts you on a fixed position without uh, options. It's not good for for you at that time because you have many things to 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 to, to, to weigh. So a guy should be able to take you through packages. Maybe some of them contain maybe um edited version uh, things like uh, the love story of uh, how you met, the love walk, the highlight of the entire video. Depending on what you want in your video, you should be able to select these features that ca come with these. Uh, with these uh, pa packages and uh, um, some of them depend on your on your budget so you should you should be able to uh, through the packages um, see what fits you and what to uh, include uh, in your wedding in your wedding films the other thing is that uh, after you settle on the, the guy to do your wedding you should pay the deposit that is very important so that you can book that date. You, you make sure this guy is engaged. He won't be able to 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 to, day, to engage the day with another wedding wedding couple. And uh, apart from that, make sure you insist on a contract. This will make the whole both parties uh, safe, uh, so that uh, come the wedding day, you won't be waiting for a ghost uh, a ghost video guy. You, be sure that that day is booked and you have somebody to capture your beautiful day into a nice uh, wedding film. Having done that, I believe you'll be able to end up with a film that you'd want to watch again and again and again. It's a wrap for now. Thank you for your time. In case of any question or maybe a suggestion, better still if you have a wedding coming up, don't hesitate to contact NZ Media. Our, our website is www.nzmedia.co. Dot K. Or better still, you could also visit our Facebook page, Enzy Media, and uh, just give us a shout. Bye bye.